Hello friends, today we discuss about fundamental of management, the meaning and objectives of management. Consider a business enterprise, it may be an industry or it may be a trading concern. In both the cases, to start and run the business, some amount of money is needed. Some materials, few machines and some main are required and some uh, processes are involved. All these are considered the inputs for a business that result in output in terms of products or services. However, we same amount of money, raw materials, machines and main and following the same processes, the output may not be same in all cases. For example, with same amount of money, main, machine and materials, if you and Ramesh start a similar business independently, the result may not be the same for both of you. You may do well whereas Ramesh may not. But this is because the input do not become output by themselves. Various activities are required and these need to be properly directed, coordinated and integrated so that the inputs produce good results. This process of using various resources that is input to produce some results that is output is known as management and the degree of success varies according to the efficiency with which the resources are managed. Thus, management refers to the process of using men, money, machines, materials and processes through proper direction, coordinations and integration of several activities so as to produce demised or produced desired results and attained the predetermined goals. In other words, management consists of a various of activities classified into various functions like planning, organizing, staffing, directing, and controlling. Now, objectives of management. Management helps in efficient and effective use of available resources of an organization. Objectives are the end results and towards which all managerial efforts and organizational activities are directed. Objectives of management include now optimum, optimum utilization of resources. Management should try to secure maximum outlay with minimum efforts and resources by utilizing the human and material resources available in an organization for, uh, for deriving the best result. Increase in productivity of all factors of production. Management should minimize the wastage of the time, money, and efforts through 
proper utilization of various factors of production like capital labor this will lead to increase in efficiency of all factors of production it should uh, also try to set higher standards of productions every year and should strive higher to reach these targets fair return on capital management has to pro provide a fair return to the owner on the capital invested by them management must maintain the investment and should also attract further investments for growth and expansion create goodwill management should aim at building the reputations of the farm through various activities like popularizations or popularizing products by advertising reasonable price good and quality products etc business environment is dynamic and is influenced by a number of factors meet challenges of the changing environment enterprise which are available or unable to adapt itself to the changing situation will not be able to survive management should frame steps to meet the challenges of the changing environment thus management can help an organization for the survival and growth now characteristics of management the various characteristics of management are management is universal it means that management is required for every types of organization it may be a business organization or social or political it may be a small farm or a large one management is required by a school or a college or university or a hospital or a big firm like reliance industries limited or a small variety store to in your locality thus it is universal phenomenon and is common and essential element in all organization management is goal directed every organization is created to achieve certain goals for example for a business firm it may be to make maximum profit and for to provide quality products and services management of an organization is always aimed at achievement of the organizational goals resource success of management is determined by the extent to which these goals are achieved management is a continuous process management is an ongoing process it continues as long as the organization exist no activity can take place without management to perform all activities like production sales storage operation etc management is required so as long as these activities continue the process of management also continues to 
operate. Now the next point is management is an integrating process. Yes, all the function, activities, processes and operations are intermixed among themselves. It is the task of management to bring them together and proceed in a coordinated manner to achieve desired results. In fact, without inter, uh, integrations of main machine and material and coordination of individual efforts to uh, contribute successfully as a team, it will be difficult to achieve organizational goals. Management is tangible. Management is not a place like a graphic showing broad, broad meetings or graphic showing a school principal at his or her office desk which can be seen. It is an unseen force and you can feel its presence in the form of rules, regulation, output, work, climate, etc. Management is multidisciplinary. Management of an organization requires wide knowledge about various disciplines as it offers and covers handling of men, machine, materials, looking after productions, distributions, accounting and many other functions. Thus we find the principles and techniques of management are mostly drawn from, uh, from almost all fields of study like engineering, economics, sociology, psychology, and anthropology, mathematics, and statistics. Management is a social process. The most important aspects of management is handling people organized in work groups. This involves developing and motivating people at work and us taking care of their satisfactions and social being. All managerial actions are primarily concerned with relations be between people and so it is treated as a social process. Now, fundamentals of management. Management is situational. The success of management depends on and varies from situations to situation. There is no best way of managing the techniques and principles of management are related and do not hold good for all situations to come. Importance of management. The existence and success of any organization largely depends on the kind of management it has and no amount of quality measures is going to help unless they are put to productions or productive use by efficient management. It is because of these reasons that management is studied as a subject in almost every discipline of study. In today's scenario, with globalizations, job specifications, changing techniques, new responsibilities of business 
and consumer rise or consumerism competitions and emphasizes on research and development the rule or the role of management has grown multifold its importance is reflected in the positive result that the organization can get in respect of the followings so attainment of goals every organization has a goal to achieve and each employee in the organization also has his own goals that he wants to achieve even at op operational level each department each unit or even each group has a goal that it wants to achieve it is only through proper management by well thought of planning good direction and proper coordinations and control that effectiveness to the efforts of each group to achieve given goals can be ensured now stability stability management strives to utilize the available resources of uh, organizations effectively and efficiently it controls the activities and operations integrations the function and motivates the employees and maintain the health of the organizations and the over changing environment so in in does ensures stability to the working of the organize organizations and controlling its growth so that's the end of the video my friends if you like my blogs please please subscribe my channel thanks a lot for watching my videos